We're back here with some more Generation Wrestling with Generation Wrestling 24. Uh, as yeah, so uh, Eddie Grand in the bank, and we have some bad news, although not really surprising news to be honest. Uh, but we got an email here. Gil Kim has decided that her time in the wrestling ring, uh, the, the, the wrestling ring is up, and she has decided to uh, to retire. So yep, but I don't know what to do with her now. If we should sag her, or if we should have her as a personality, or what we should do with her. Um, potential commentator is always. Uh, it's always a possibility we could actually look in at that. Um, I'm just thinking last minute. Cover's not bad. Um, you know what? For now, that's that's gonna be a commentary team. It is gonna be our character, Rob Graham and Gail Kim. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, <clears throat> Eight grand in the bank to play with. So we have a main event here tonight where. Jimmy Havoc will be taking on Nelson Creed, the Vancouver champion, and uh, Jay Lethal uh, defending the uh, this Jimmy Havoc, of course, defending the Generation Championship, and that is because both of these guys have got clean pinfall finishes over Jimmy Havoc. Um, we've got the title on the line: Christina Von Eri, the newest member of Havoc, will be going up against Natty Neidhart here um, for the. Women's Championship after winning the uh, Generation Women's Cup. Uh, Crazy Mark, uh, the team of Crazy Steve and Scotty Mark will be challenging Black Ross Lasher for the tag team titles. And Kyle Riley has returned, so we'll go ahead and we'll run the show. Um, tonight we have 690 people at the show, that's good to see. But uh, we start off with a 62 bit video segment here where we see. Jimmy Havoc, JD Fun, Nelson Creed, uh, and pretty much it's justifying that it's showing the pinfall victories that both Nelson Creed and J Lee have got over Jimmy Havoc, and it justifies that main event. But then we go into our next segment here, <laughs> a 78 rated segment, and that's pretty damn good. Um, and we do this here gimmick where you know you see a worker arrive, and of course, this is Kyle O'Reilly making this big return to the company. And uh, so, yeah, I decided to. Uh, to sort of you know make that a thing on this show where we see him come in and we get a big pop from the crowd but then he goes up against Tony Baroni here and about they had great heat and decent wrestling Kyle O'Reilly wins his first match back against Tony Baroni in 14 minutes 18 seconds by submission with a guillotine choke uh, this match got the crowd harder uh, Kyle O'Reilly shown in this match a 78 and then performance there for Kyle Riley and a 23 for Tony Bowley. So not bad at all, not bad at all. A 58 with that segment there. But uh, yeah, so let's go on, on to the next match here where we see Black Rose Slasher go up against Crazy Mark. And about to have good heat and decent wrestling, we put Black Rose Slasher over here against Crazy Mark uh, in 17 minutes and 2 seconds when Steve Blackwell defeats uh, Scotty Mark. Uh, by pinfall and this is after the newest member of the Havoc, Christina Fonteri, uh, distracts uh, Scotty Mac and that allows St uh, Steve Blackwell to get the pinfall victory and that is number five of Blackwell Slash's uh, Generation Tag Team Titles reign. A 52 in room performance here for Steve Blackwell and a 38 for Clemato Von Slasher. 35 for Scotty Man and for Crazy Steve a 50. So not bad, uh, not bad at all. We go uh, 47 with it segment there, but we go on to uh, no, oh, what's this? Oh yes, Christina Font Airway. Let's complete that gimmick change. Yes, uh, Metalhead uh, gimmick uh, gets an initial rating of average. That's good. Uh, old school heel gimmicks. Gets an initial rate in the below average. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go on to our next segment here though. When we see Christina Fon Area in action there, and in about the had fantastic heat and decent wrestling, Christina Fon Area in her first attempt against 
Natty Knight Hot Hot Championship win. Uh, is able to pick up a uh, a win here and win. You know this is after 15 and a half minutes. She wins by pinfall with a dead rising and uh, yeah, uh, Christina Fornelli becomes the new generation women's champion after Steve Blackwell attacks Natty Nighthawk when the referee wasn't looking. A fully nine mm performance there for Fornelli and a 54 for Natty Nighthawk. Christina Fornelli is getting pet by a gimmick and that continues on the Havoc storyline and the women's division storyline. So we have a new champion in Christina Fornelli but we do need to put in a rematch there and that will be for Generation Wrestling 25. So we'll go ahead and let's go for where we go on here. Christina Fornelli and Natty Nighthawk once again but that will be uh, for the rematch for the women's championship so a big one there uh, for for now and not just for now but for havoc as well now they have the uh, women's championship they have almost every single title under their belts now so we're going to the next segment though and uh, so we see a segment here with Christina von Okay, I thought I had to sneeze here. We see a segment with uh, Christina von Erie and Rebecca Knox. Um, this is when Christina von Erie is uh, walking to the back. She goes through Greta and waiting for, for her is Rebecca Knox. Uh, von Erie doesn't stop for more than a second when she continues to walk on after staring down Rebecca Knox. And really the idea behind this segment is that uh, it's hinting at a, you know, a future match for uh, Christina Fornelli. 57 with it segment there. Then we go on to our next uh, segment here and the main event of the show when Jimmy Havoc goes up against and defends his title against Nelson Creed and Jay Lethal and about that had fantastic heat and great wrestling. We have Jimmy Havoc defeat uh, both Nelson Creed and Jerry for in 15 minutes 44 seconds when Jimmy Havoc is able to defeat Nelson Creed by submission um, during the match we also have Kamita Von Slash Kamita Von Slash sorry, run in and uh, he attacks Jerry for putting Jerry for out of the match and unable to break up the submission defense number six of Jimmy Havoc's championship we won Nelson Creed was the weak link struggling to keep up with everyone else's in-ring performance but he gets a 52 uh, in-ring performance there. Imagine being the weak link in a small company with a 52 rated performance. 71 for Jimmy Havoc and a 72 for Jay Lethal. This storyline is not yet over. Now uh, the Havoc storyline will continue on of course. Now usually I do do it like when the champion gets pinned uh, but when a champion gets pinned you know they are in the, the person that pins them is entitled to a match for their title and Jimmy Havoc does pin Nelson Creed but we're going to justify on a second why they will not have a match together um, uh, nope let's go ahead and complete that gimmick change so Nelson Creed uh, switches his gimmick to blue collar, wholesome gimmick, uh, and gets a national rating of average. But then we we'll go on to our final segment here, a 55 rated segment here, where we see all four members of Havoc in the ring celebrating uh, their huge wins here tonight. And so what happens is the way that we justify, uh, you know, the title, no title match for the Vancouver Championship is that we see uh, Jimmy Havoc just step on the Vancouver Championship after uh, Nelson Creed was uh, gave the title by the ref, you know, the Vancouver Championship by the ref. He's kind of, you know, holding on to it to his chest because, you know, he's on the ground, he's still hurt. And Jimmy Havoc just steps on it, disrespecting the title and disrespecting uh, Nelson Creed and the company, of course. A 59 
read it within there. Pretty damn good there, I'm happy enough with that. Let's go ahead and make a speech though. And that United Hut, we will point her out as a good example for taking that loss tonight. Um, and then we need to go with Jimmy Havoc and Jay Lethal. They will both be told they are awesome because they are both awesome. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll do the usual. We'll check the size. We'll check importance. We'll check all that. We'll check how many people watch. Now this is on our subscription service, Smart Muck, Smart Muck Video uh, that we started to use. So we'll have a look here and see how we do on that. Uh, so yeah. We'll need to wait for that to load up, uh, but when it does, we will be able to, uh, we'll do the usual stuff, oh, here we go, we've loaded up, uh, oh, we've got another retired person, Eric Bishop this time, uh, let's see, Jimmy Havoc extension on the uh, uh, smart mark video deal expiring we need to renew that uh, if we had a decent rating okay not a great rating but again it's with a subscription service so that's gonna happen a 0.05 TV rating there so I've made the decision that for now on after this deal goes out uh, I think we'll stick to commercial and free to air uh, for now anyway so yep Jimmy Havoc stay on with progress. Jack Swagger to a sign. See if we can sign him. Ah, oh, he's not active. I, I don't mind Jack Swagger. I quite like Jack Swagger. Um, Jelly Foot is in need of a break. Well, he's not going to be wrestling for me for another couple of weeks. So, yep. Okay. Okay, so Martin Nighthawk has big morale issues. Let's deal with them morale issues and we'll go for some money. Oh come on Natty. Don't melt me dry here just because you're a wee bit unhappy. Sixty nine in the bank though, so we're doing well. Uh, any more big morale issues? You still got morale issues. We'll give you a wee bit more money. Um, we do have uh, quite a bit of money in the bank, so we can play about it a little bit uh, with the money. Uh, Gil Kim seemed to do well as an announcer, so oh, sorry, as a color commentator. So we're gonna go ahead and p give her that push. Let's go color commentator. See if that. What is her recommended push? Nope, not a manager. So let's go ahead and go to auto push then. Um, what is Gil Kim? There she is. Check that box and we can auto push everyone else. Uh, lost it over a few. Any, any changes? Three main offenders in JD4, Jimmy Havoc, and Kyle Riley. Nelson Creed has dropped down to the upper mid card. Uh, but that's fine, he just took a big loss. Uh, Steve Black was in there by my card still, as is Crazy Steve. We're doing well though in terms of pushing who we want to push. I would like to see Nelson Card uh, or Nelson Creed back in the main event, but we don't really need him to be there right now. Um but yeah. Christina Fonelli, where are you? Uh there's you are. Let's go pop. Uh, she's pretty popular at the moment. Very popular in the Mara Times and in British Columbia and that place that I can pronounce where Brock Lesnar is from. As well as Manitoba of course and on top Terry, so she's doing well for herself. Um let's see. Now as for where Havoc is, um they have been a faction for quite a long time. Does it say when they were established? July 2019, so almost a year now. Uh, and of course, 
all good things have to come to an end and I think that Mayo Havoc's a pretty good faction and it will come to an end um, soon enough but for now it will remain a faction I know how it's going to end I have an idea of how we're going to end it so yeah we have two more uh, of these shows left that we have to do in the next 56 days so yeah We'll see what else uh, commercial or 3D air companies we can use here uh, in our broadcasting. Uh, let's see. Let's go filter and go pay per view. Nope. Let's go 3D air. Okay, so those are our only options there. Uh, so we're going to have to say what for YouTube as far as 3D air goes. But what about commercial? Any more options there? Uh, Fight Network, uh, ESPN. I'm gonna stick with. Uh, I think I need to stick with YouTube for now. You know, it is a tiny audience in comparison, but it's a worldwide audience, and that's what intrigues me the most about it. Is that we do have that worldwide audience being able to watch. Um, I don't know. Maybe should I go with a deal for some, with somebody like ESPN though? Uh, I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go for it. And what I'll do is I will compare uh, if we're still getting a, a a big audience from ESPN, and then uh, yeah, if we're still getting in like the double fi fi the double figures in terms of the point not the ends you know uh, then we'll stick with ESPN but what we will do is we'll do one show on YouTube and then one show on ESPN and that is after uh, our deal runs out with uh, and that is after our deal runs out with uh, the Smart Mark video of course uh, that's the new deal let's go cool. late night oh actually that's what? Mm. I think the YouTube deal is better. We'll stick with the YouTube deal for now, anyway. We will stick with that YouTube deal for now, uh, and just use that. So yeah. Sixty-six left in the bank. Importance is twenty-one still in British Columbia. We're doing well though. We are doing well. Uh, what about pop then? A pop again. Pop is just so. We're doing so well with pop. That's gonna have to end there. I'm quite tired and I'm gonna think about going to bed soon enough. Thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.